how's it going guys? It's Billy from The Terrible Five here, and welcome to yet another tutorial on our second channel, The Terrible Five 2. So, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a really basic effect. Um, it's also really cool, and you can use it for a variety of different things, uh, which is blood splattering on the lens of the camera. So like if your actor gets shot, um, blood will shoot up and hit the lens, and you see it in a lot of places, including some of the stuff I have on the main channel. So, um, if you guys don't have any elements such as that, then what you can do is go to the link in the description below where you will find a, uh, a download link that will take you um, to this place where you can download a um, absolutely free uh, blood element. It's like, a, it's like a still image of some blood that you can just drop right into your footage and um, it's pretty easy to use and then as well as the footage that we use in this tutorial um, you may notice that it is from Left 4 Dead episode 1 but yeah okay so let's start the tutorial so first things first we're gonna go to the frame where our actor gets shot looks like that's about right here and what we're gonna do first is with the layer selected we're gonna go to edit split layer which will take your layer of footage and make it into two different sections almost and now what we're gonna do is zoom in here really quickly okay and we're gonna drag this piece of footage forward a couple frames um, about two frames and then we're going to drag it back so we're gonna have this uh, looks like a little cut so we're gonna be like that and what it looks like is it looks like he gets hit more impactfully rather than um, him just falling down so this is called frame splicing or at least I call it frame splicing you may hear people call it that um, but what it is is if, is when you cut out a couple frames when there's a big impact like it, these are really useful for fight scenes and it makes your um, impact or your punch or your bullet hit to somebody's head look a lot more powerful and can really sell your effect so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in uh, the blood burst blood burst 14 from action essentials 2 we're just gonna drag that on top of all of our pieces of footage and we're going to drag through it and just find a frame that looks good. Um, we're just trying to find one frame so it doesn't really have to be perfect. And about right there looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is go to um, layer, time, freeze frame. And that will freeze it right at the point where we want our blood to come in. And now we're just going to push this back so the blood starts right there when he gets shot. Now the next thing we're going to do is select the rotation tool and we're just going to rotate it. And blood is usually coming out of the corner of the screen so we can just tilt it so it matches the corner. And I'm just going to drag it into the corner like that. And then maybe hit S for scale and then we can scale it up um, don't scale it up too much but just the right amount it really depends on what you are looking for in your film or whatever effect you're trying to do and maybe make it a little bit wider like that perfect and then kinda like place it in the corner kinda have it getting cut off by the edge of the camera now we're going to go to our effects and presets and go to fast blur. Should show up right there. And then drop your fast blur onto the blood. And turn it up to about 9 or 10. And that usually will look pretty good for whatever you're trying to do. And click repeat edge pixels. Okay. Now the final thing that we're going to do is do some color correction on the blood layer to make it look better and make it match the lighting so go to curves in your effects and presets drag it on and I'm gonna bring it down 
make it a little bit darker than usual. And let me bring this one down so it can make it look like the blood's a little bit brighter. And then go to your red channel and you can just bring your red channel over here and just kind of toy around with it and make it look a lot more red and more bloody. And that should do it. So here is our final effect. So yeah, not too hard and it doesn't look too bad either. It looks actually really good. And yeah, it's that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Sorry if it took a little bit long, but I just want to really help you guys because I enjoy making these tutorials. And once again, if you guys want to request a tutorial um, for us to do sometime in the future, then head down to the comment section below the video, leave a comment saying what tutorial you want. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our main channel as well as our second channel, The Terrible Five and the Terrible Five Two. So thanks for watching everybody, hope this helped you, and we will see you next time.